Hello guys! How are you? How you doing? Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Magandang magandang umaga, magandang hapon, at magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagsusupport. Thank you very very much for your support in my social medias platform. I truly truly appreciate it. So today actually I am just going to actually blog about cells and also paangat. Okay? Paangat means level up. Okay? So... If you are looking for opportunities here in social media, reality it has so much to offer. And not only that, there are so much to do and so much to share. And not only that, so much possibility. I truly, truly seen it with my own eyes. But it is up to us to drive and thrive here in social media. So anyway, very, very important is to think exactly why did you join the social media? So for example, if you are going to ask me personally, I would say because of the opportunity of creating a small business or generating an extra income and that is why I joined the social media because you can connect the social media or your social media's channel or whatever actually channel or social media platform that you join for instance if you join YouTube Facebook Instagram TikTok WhatsApp Viber Kumu and there are so many many different kind of social media out there that you can utilize to connect and incorporate to your dreams and your passion in your niche and then make into revenue by actually mixing with your talent your skill and whatnot okay so it's so much to offer but it is really up to you how to take a leap and try to find that niche and passion that you're trying to catch is because it's not easy especially if you do not have the extra income to use for actually um, starting out a small business because even though there are so many many opportunity in the social media that I have listened to different kind of videos in the beginning they will give you tutorial and then after the tutorial because it is free and then they're going to invite you to join different kind of courses or classes or seminars so when it comes joining those classes and seminars that you can actually learn from you have to worry about the money because money is very very hard to find right now if you are stuck with your situation that you have a budget and you cannot really use your budget to invest in learning different kind of information because all the information that I have listened you have to pay for it right so anyway if you truly truly want to learn you can by doing it by yourself and doing by homework or researching the information that you are looking for but it is a time consuming it's because you have to really really dig and check it out and you have to consider also that there are millions of millions content creator blogger youtuber and i mean social media influencer there are so many so you really have to compete because not competition in a way that you have to actually show that you're doing exactly correct. I'm talking about trying to gather all the people to support you or us to get more subscriber, to get more uh, people because you have to actually get out to your comfort zone. You need to have like a giveaway stuff and giveaway stuff is not cheap, okay? You really have to invest and then if you want to have actually a well I call it level up okay if you want to level up 
and you want to have views you have to pay for those boosting and reality i have been doing my homework and through my observation even google if you hire google and pay them to have your videos or your business to be promoted all you need to do just actually sign in and then of course you have to pay for it okay so those are the hindrance sometimes for beginners is the money money is the root of everything <laughs> that goes on all over the world money can make you happy money can make you sad money can buy everything that you want and money can also put you in debt if in case you're overdoing it so oh my goodness it's really hard it is not really like overnight to become successful in social media even if you have so many people in the chat room you have to remember people who actually are in the chat room are not the same people who's going to support your business or maybe let me correct myself maybe one or two or three or maybe 10 or 20 or maybe a hundred but they are not the one who's really going to give you all the support okay because for some reason if they are also a content creator blogger youtuber they have to actually take care of their own channel they have to take care of their own niche and also trying to promote their own interest so it's really difficult unless you have a lot of money so if you have patient and if you can have all those characteristic patient and also if you are a hard worker when I say a hard worker means if you actually doing your own research you're studying you're you're doing everything as much as you can to make your channel really grow and establish it's not only money you also need spiritual help financially help and emotionally help because it is also exhausting if you do not know how to manage your time it is very very exhausting because you have to maintain that analytic to keep it going because you don't want it to stop so anyway the leads that we are looking for it's easy it sounds easy but it's hard work but if we have money we can get leads okay and then of course when it comes trying to find those people who are going to watch the video that we have created we have to offer value because if you don't offer the value and the quality of the video that we are creating it's not going to generate views I mean unless we know somebody who's going to invite somebody and that is why it's very very important to share the videos that we are creating and in my own observation that is the hurdle of every content creator not too many people or not too many blogger youtuber content creator social media influencer actually share the videos of each supporter or viewers you have to ask them over and over can you please uh, share the video and this is why it's very important to keep asking whether it is annoying but you have to do it otherwise you're going to get stuck in just in the same area in the same level you really have to ask every time you have someone actually are in front of you when I say in front of you doing live streaming if you are doing live streaming I'm pretty sure you heard that script over and over please share the stream please share the video please like the video that way the algorithm and analytic actually can work and then make sure you watch the video in full because for example if you have a great content you don't have to remind them but you still have to mention it to watch the video and if they are really really a great supporter and loyal supporter they will watch the video until they get used to it and then 
in the beginning they may not like it in the beginning but at the end if they keep watching and watching and watching then they end up liking it because I have that experience so sa madaling salita dito sa social media maraming paraan para umasenso ang problema yung mga tao na gusto natin at yung maasahan natin natutulong sa atin kaso mahirap gawin yun kasi hindi naman lahat open minded na o oh, sige i-share ko itong video na to kasi yung sa atin yung kultura natin medyo alangan kasi ang nasa isip ng iba hindi lahat ha for disclaimer this is for educational purposes hindi lahat pero yung karamihan ayaw nila i-share ang video kasi baka masapawan at baka ang mga supporter nila pumunta sa iyo pero hindi nila iniisip na yung social media actually is recycling Okay, recycle ng recycle ng recycle, tapos share ng share. Ganun po kasi yung ano yung tema dito sa social media. Panunuorin niyo yung ano, yung video kahit ano pa yan, kahit YouTube, kahit Kumu, kahit TikTok, kahit Instagram, kahit Facebook at iba-iba pang mga social media platform na kailangan panoorin talaga ang video kasi yung iba na naririnig ko kasi marami akong naririnig sa mga kababayan natin, nasa harang ako nasa harang kahit nasa harang ka, kung putol-putol ang ano, ang linya hindi po makakakuha yan ng analytic at algorithm kasi halimbawa ano bibigyan ko kayo ng example for example, you are driving so, if you are driving straight and you going to stop every 15 minutes you are not gonna go to your destination It's the same thing in the videos. If you watch the video and then all of a sudden you quit watching the video and then you leave, you are not actually helping the content creator. You are not helping. You are just spamming the content creator's video. So anyway, there are so much opportunity reality. There are so much opportunity because it's all about trying to to get the information the right information and then once you get the right information on how to do it and how to create it then it's easy to actually mimic and then find the idea that you want to incorporate with that same strategy it's really really important to look beyond the box that way you can really comprehend and grasp what's social media social media is a business it's not something to hang around if you can use the social media in the right way if you are going to use the social media to the dreams that you have in your heart in your mind as far as business wise nobody's gonna be left behind nobody's not going to become successful everybody who create a content that are quality and has value is going to level up and that's the truth but some people or some content creator or some blogger youtuber they want very very fast and quick and shortcut and that is why the success is sometimes delayed or cut short it's because they want shortcut if you do things shortcut the result will be shortcut also so what you want is to have actually a good and great result because everything has a process to go by and if you are patient you can actually get there and if you are patient enough you never know when the tide is torn it is your turn to become successful and one of your videos is gonna go viral sometimes it is not the actually uh, strategy sometimes it's about luck also the timing so if you catch that algorithm analytic it's actually working and you put the right SEO and tag and so forth then sometimes you get lucky but that luck is only happens once in a lifetime and once opportunity knocks that's it and it's not going to repeat and this is why it's very very important to add more knowledge of everything that we are doing so that we can actually maintain 
the success that we are looking for. So anyway, in sales, it's very, very important that you are knowledgeable of whatever that you are selling, whether it is appliances or jewelry or real estate or vehicle or whatever it is, marketing, you have to know what you are selling because if you know what you are selling, it's easy to demonstrate, it's easy to present to the client or customer so that they can understand how to use it and to also avoid returning the products because mostly when the product actually are not totally explained or totally explained is going to be returned because for example if one individual purchase a camera and that camera has so much specification and features but that person actually do not know how to work on that camera he or she is going to end up returning it and find something else that she can actually work with shoot and film. So those are most important to remember. According for us to become successful, whether it is actually different scenario or sales is still sales, is because you are trying to convince someone to pay attention, whether it is actually presenting a product merchandise or simply in seminars or meeting or whatever it is that you are trying to communicate you really have to make sure that the other end the other person the other group the other individual can actually understand what you are saying so that it's easy to understand or to adapt or really if they have a question if they have doubts it will be diminished because you have explained it enough for them to really understand what you are trying to sell or what are you trying to portray to them to say that this is blah 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 and then that blah blah is how it works right so anyway there are so much to it but sometimes you're gonna get frustrated so this is why I encourage everybody never give up if you are in social media it is not an overnight success you really have to work hard and you can ask every content creator who are successful they work on it and they went through step by step so always remember if you are patient enough and if you do your own homework and research there's no way that you're going to fail it's always seems difficult until it's done believe me that is so true so anyway value is very very important and also when there is a problem never never take it for granted because every problem has a solution and option and and it is up to us to correct the problem and then trying to fix it so that it will become actually uh, solution not a problem anymore so anyway I am so happy that I am here in social media and as you can see it takes time for me to level up but I am willing enough to compromise and work hard and do more research but in reality it still boils down with money because if we have money we can just ask someone to promote our channel right or whatever it is that we are actually trying to present whether it is an audience or subscriber or followers or friends family and whatnot so anyway I just want to share these thoughts that I have in mind to each and every one of you because I truly believe there's no impossible so good communication skill are the key to success and also if you have courage enough to be patient then success will fall into places so anyway i hope it makes sense if not oh well so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and also i would like to say thank you for supporting me and my channel and my social medias platform and also don't forget to click notification bell share the video and also keep in touch why not right so thank you very very much and i don't want to say it later but i would like to say it now thank you for supporting me and i am looking forward to grow with you in 2023 and thank you for the fewer friendship in 2022 thank you guys